वेलकम बैक एस क्लियर अप्स क्यों एक्सपेडिशन 33 जस्ट रिसीव्ड अ मेजर अपडेट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पैच 1.4 दिस अपडेट इंक्लूड्स अ लॉट ऑफ क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ इंप्रूवमेंट्स बग फिक्सेस आल्सो इंक्लूड्स द मच रिक्वेस्टेड क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ एडिशन बैटल रिट्राय आफ्टर गेटिंग डिफीटेड इन द बैटल अ न्यू विंडो विल पॉप अप गिविंग अस द ऑप्शन टू इमीडिएटली रीस्टार्ट द बैटल द अपडेट आल्सो ऐड सपोर्ट फॉर डीएलएसएस फ्रेम जनरेशन एंड एक्ससीएसएस फ्रेम जनरेशन बट नो सपोर्ट फॉर FSR upscaler and frame generation the developers are still working on it it may get added to the game in the future now xcss frame generation only works on intel arc based gpus and dlss frame generation is exclusive to rtx 40 and 50 series gpus i'll be testing the game on my rog ally it comes with amd radian 780m gpu so i'll be using nucom 9 smart to replace the in game dlss frame generation with fsr frame generation will be using fake NV API to replace the in-game reflex implementation with anti-lag 2 which will help in cutting down the latency I'll be injecting these mods into the game using OptiScaler mod will be running the PC Game Pass version of the game before showing you the guide would like to thank KeyMailer and Xbox for providing me with a free monthly subscription of PC Game Pass this subscription gives us access to hundreds of games we can play these games for as long as we want until our subscription expires Games from first-party Microsoft Studio and even third-party studios are available on PC Game Pass. Even EA Play membership is included. In India, Microsoft even supports UPI mode of payment. We'll be using the latest Preview 13 nightly build of OptiScaler mod available on OptiScaler's GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section expanded. Click on the .7z link. Version 0.7.7 Preview 13 2025-0719. We'll be using build 0.130 universal version of Nucom 9 mod. You can download it for free from Nexus Mods website. You just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download under universal. Click on slow download. I'll be using version 1.3.4 of fake Mikos fake NV API. It will replace reflex with anti lag 2. Expand the asset section. Click on the .7z link here. Download will start. On ROG Ally, I'll be using D3 D12 proxy to fix the broken Unreal Engine 5 global illumination. This bug occurs on Windows PCs with integrated GPUs. You can download this proxy for free from GitHub. We'll give its link in the description. Expand the set section. Click on the dot zip link. Frame generation does not work during the cutscenes, and the cutscenes are capped at 30 FPS. So I'll be using Lyle's fix to remove this 30 FPS cap. The mod also disables the end game sharpening. This mod can be downloaded for free from Nexus Mods. We'll give its link in the description. Click on Files here. Now I'll be running the PC Game Pass version of the game. So I download the Xbox version of the mod. If you own the Steam or Epic Games version of the game, download that version of the mod. Manual download under Xbox. Click on Slow Download here. These are the files that I just downloaded. First, I'll be installing OptiScaler mod. Just open its archive file. Just need to copy two files OptiScaler.tll and OptiScaler.ini. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Open Xbox PC app, go to your library. From here, just select clear. Now click on the three dots. Click on manage, click on files, click on browse. Open the games install folder. Open content folder, sandfall folder, binaries folder, WinGTK folder, paste everything here. Now just change the name of optiscaler.tll file to winmm.tll, rename. Just open optiscaler.ini file. Set the actual upscaler to xcss. Set FG type to Newcoms as we will be using Newcom 9 mod. Click on File, click on Save, Close. Now I'll be installing Newcom 9 mod. Open the mods archive file. Open DLL underscore version folder. Copy this DLL file. DLS G2 FSR 3 AMD is better. Need to paste it in the games install directory where we install OptiScaler mod. Content folder, Sandfall. Binaries, WinGDK, right here. Now I'll be installing fake NV API. Open its archive file. Copy the two files present inside this archive file. 
paste them in the games install directory sandfall pioneers wingdk right here now i'll be installing d3d12 proxy open its archive file copy the two files present inside this archive file here it uses the file name txgi and this is why i did not use txgi file name for optiscaler mod i used winmm file name for it open the games install directory content folder sandfall pioneers wingdk paste everything here now i'll be installing lyle's fix open its archive file open sandfall folder pioneers folder wingdk folder copy the three files here you just need to paste them in the games install directory content sandfall pioneers wingdk right here everything has been installed now this games profile does not pop up automatically in adrenaline software i'll show you how to access the games adrenaline settings we just need to create a desktop shortcut for the games main exe file which is present in this directory and there it is sandfall wingdk shipping select it right click show more options send to desktop create shortcut i have already created this shortcut you will find this shortcut file on the desktop sandfall wingdk shipping and just open amd adrenaline software go to its gaming section need to add the game shortcut file to adrenaline click on the settings big icon click on the three dots here click on add a game click on desktop and just look for the game shortcut file there it is select it click on open i have already added it open the games profile adrenaline settings freezing vsync enable disable radian anti lag from here we will be using anti lag too now in order to start the game just click on launch here or just start the game via the games desktop shortcut don't launch it via pc game pass app otherwise adrenaline settings won't load up now make sure no third party overlay like afterburner or rtss is running in the background otherwise the game may crash during the loading screens For this game, I have set the UMM buffer size to 6 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 3.4.2. I have installed Alice's latest official GPU driver that I had support for Doom: The Dark Ages. Using a 27 watts manual profile, all three power values set at 27 watts. 900p resolution CPU boost disabled. Connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to Ally via Bluetooth mode. X input controller. Launch the game. Although the game uses Unreal Engine 5, it does not exhibit any major performance issues scaling type you need to set it to dlss yeah the option got unlocked this means optiscaler mod is working scaling mode i'll just set it to quality nvidia frame generation option i have disabled it for the time being reflex on anti lag 2 should be working vsync disabled 900p resolution full screen mode disable these post processing effects motion blur film grain chromatic aberration vignette everything set to medium i'll just set post processing setting to low can't disable it fly news adrenaline lens performance only to show you the performance metrics there it is enable anti lag to latency monitor by pressing its hotkey combo all shift and l Keep pressing the combo to cycle through the different display options. Yeah, it's working. There you go, guys. Anti lag too. Working in Clay Ops Clay Expedition 33. Did it before the developers. We are in. Open Optiscaler menu by pressing the Insert keyboard key. From this drop down bar, make sure XSS Upscaler is selected. Version 2. Input DLSS. DXJ is spoofing on. Auto Exposure setting is on. Anti lag too. Okay, I'll just use Optiscaler mod to increase the in-game sharpening. Check this setting. All oh, right, under sharpness section, just set the value to 0.600, 60%. It's up to you. Your camera is not disabled for the time being. Save I N A. In this way, mod settings will get saved even after restarting the game. You can see the base resolution here: 1066 by 600 pixels, upscaled to 900p. There's Sophie. 
big crowd here opening section of the game good for testing very heavy on the GPU and you can see yeah here FPS is close to 28 later areas in this game I even more demanding than this opening area don't recommend running the game at 900p resolution on ally latency value is close to 73 milliseconds 73 to 80 milliseconds depending on the scene okay I'll just drop the resolution to 720p that's why I increase the sharpening level resolution 720p you don't want the FPS to drop below 30 while using frame generation back to the game yeah FPS increased to around 35 animation quality is looking much better now compared to when the resolution was set to 900p now you can enable Nukem 9's FSR frame generation FPS should be close to 60 animation quality here is looking a bit choppy outside LS VRR range XCSS upscaler produces some ghosting around the flower petals floating in the environment ghost trails just enable NVIDIA frame generation from the game settings set it to 2 times not auto apply back to the game yeah FPS increased to around 60 and look at that added amount of smoothness Nukem 9's mod is working properly this is the magic of FSR frame generation here animation quality was looking so choppy when we had frame generation setting disabled I'll be honest image quality is looking decent not blurry at all even when the resolution is set at 720p ok I'll just show you the debug view worry 5 FSR frame generation is working properly DLSSG state on enable debug view check this setting and no HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image E brown not showing here the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images displays are working properly for all of the images this occlusion mask, depth resources, motion vectors disable debug view now I'll just run around yeah the shadow quality is looking a bit blurry common FSR frame generation related artifact nothing extreme make sure the character is away from the edges of the display left and right edges otherwise some double images will be produced sprinting through the crowd 56 to 60 fps interface not flickering latency value 80 milliseconds see ok now I'll show you a cutscene FPS should not be capped at 30 as we have installed Lyle's fix skip the dialogues cutscene is playing and you can see the FPS is not capped at 30 getting around 45 FPS mod FSR frame generation does not work during the cutscenes so Lyle's fix is working I'll show you some combat current location spring meadows playing as Lunae accompanied by Gustav floating around look at that animation quality smooth as butter FPS within a range of 65 to 70 tag this creature use my skills Lunae assault perfect timing and played the game in a long time Lunar skill, emulsion, burn them down. Fire effect applied. That creature is done. Perfect counter. Latency value 65 milliseconds. Nothing extreme. Battle over. 65 to 70 FPS during combat mod works very nicely in this game that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day